if you yeah. thought you were fucking fighting people and you didn't th- thought you were going to come out unscathed, right. then shame on you. You, you know mm. what I mean? Like punches are not fucking vitamins. Yeah. You know? There's a fight I wanted to ask you about, and you'll you know. Ask me about any of them. I'm gonna be legendary. Sure. It's the the revenge match, uh, Pittsburgh and uh, the Islanders. The uh, I guess we'll set it up. Uh, Di Pietro, he scrapped Johnson. Is okay. That- yeah, I knew that. I knew that. I knew one of these was coming. I was just waiting. Yeah. So the you know the the goalies go. Di Pietro gets uh, gets popped, and then you know you see. Flurry and uh, and Johnson are kind of yucking it up at the bench. That kind of sets it all up. Good. I'm impressed that you know that. That's good. Como, he got he got. Uh, Como's he, a good dude. Cheap shotted right by Talbot. So this sets the stage for the big revenge match, and it's on YouTube for any of our listeners that have never seen it or <laughs> who just want to you know remember <laughs> a great time in hockey when this type of shit went down. Well, I'll probably get death threats for commenting on this like I used to, but that's okay. It's okay. I need to ask you about it. Yeah, no, I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did, brother. You're actually very well informed. So You all asked me to ask you about it too. (laughs) Lizito was like, you got to talk about it. Yeah, so so Ricky. Ricky's a phenomenal. Like, Ricky is another guy. Like, you know, you tell me one guy that gets offered. He First of all, he earned that contract. He was a young stud playing the Mm -hmm. all-star game. I mean, if you know the background, you know all this, you know that. But most people don't. They just see the big money and see a guy that, unfortunately, his body failed him, right? Yes. Um, He had a bunch of injuries, knees, tons of hip operations. We're not going to get into all his stuff. But that is the hardest working motherfucking athlete I've ever played with. Oh, cool. I mean, he is in phenomenal shape. He's a gym rat. He cared more about the Islanders winning than pretty much anyone on the fucking team, probably. Um, he's all Islanders. Thank you. So I love me some Ricky. So when Ricky got knocked out, Ricky's, t- Ricky wa- Ricky's not afraid of anybody. He went down to fight Johnson. Johnson fucking does that little switch of Rooney. Boom. You know, and if Ricky just loses that fight and they don't do all that other shit, then there's probably not a problem. But right. the sports center and all the things showed their whole bench laughing at it over and over like we were a fucking nobody team, like we were a doormat. And we had in-house meetings. Not going to talk too much about it. That's for the boys. What's said in the room stays in the room, um, you know, and whoever else was in there. Um, and we said, we're not getting pushed around anymore. And so obviously guys like me, Martin, you know, there's other guys, Zenon. You know, we, we are in our weight class. We're fighting no matter what. But we all just kind of came together a little. We had a terrible month in November. We didn't win a game. Mm. But if, if you look at our record, we were like one of the hottest teams in the league after all that happened. So we all, band of brothers came together. Like we arrived in five, mm. I call it. You know, guys are Jack Hillen fighting, Como, I mean, Bailey. I mean, these guys are skilled guys. They're fighting. Mm-hmm. And so um, that we get up and really up in the game. And – they got a guy, Tang Grady. I'm sure he hates me. That's fine. I heard he's a good dude. He's buddies with some of my buddies. Um, it is what it is. I don't take it back. I hate he got hurt on the play, um, to be mm-hmm. honest with you. But um, he's running around like he's the champ, like he's Derek Bugart. He takes out he takes out Como. He takes out Hillen. These guys are out, like with concussions. I mean, it's kind of a wild game. I had already fought Goddard, who's tough as nails. I love Goddard. Yep. He was great to my brother in the AHL, and we fought a lot. Tough dude. So he just keeps talking shit to me the whole game. You ain't going to get out there. You, you know, blah, 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 you goon, like whatever. And, uh, and I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm warning you. Like, you know, I, 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 I give it a little look to a certain somebody on the bench and I'm told, don't worry, big guy, you're going to get your shot soon. So I go out to the draw. Don't even look at the puck, like total, like, you know, scene out of the movie goon. Don't even look at the puck. I look right at him with my stick like this, cool as a cucumber. And I say, you're not so effing tough now, are you, Tango? And he's like, bop, 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 running those soup coolers, whatever you want to call them. I got other, <laughs> other, other, <laughs> other names for it, but we won't get into it. And um, I told him, look, told him plain as day. I said, it was time to stick up for the brotherhood, stick up for the crest. And Islanders fans and my teammates love me for it. So I don't care what anyone else thinks, but. I told him, I said, 
if you touch one of my teammates on the shift or the puck, I promise you, you're dead. Or the puck. <laughs> so we go up the ice. If you watch the clip, I, they only ever show the incident. They don't show all the other crap that happened in the game. There's yeah. many other guys we could bring into this, but we're not. Right. We're just talking about my incident. Yep. You know, it is what it is. The whole game is wild. It is what it is. Of course. Um, it happened. It's history. You know, I, I look at my life like there's no rear view mirrors. It's only forward, right? Um, you know, in hockey, golf, business, it's only forward, baby. So, sure enough, we go down, little turnover over the blue line, play comes back, and uh, tracking back to the house. I'm supposed to stop in the teeth of the tooth, of the, whatever they call it, teeth, tooth, whatever, the D zone coverage on the left hand side, identify the situation, stick in the lane, you know the deal. Instead, I pick up speed, high step in it like an old meatball. And uh, obviously have a high hit on him. And I didn't realize he was, and then it was go time. Like it was go time. Started the brawl and we all know what else happened. So, um, you know, cost me a bunch of money. It cost Goddard a bunch of money. And you yep. know, we did what we had to do. He also had to come, I was kicked out. He obviously had, to, he came off the bench. And, yes. Um, and then what other people don't realize is, okay, I paid my penance, right? It's like going yes. away. I paid my, did my time. I worked my balls off. I got bag skated every day. I'm working on everything. I know when I come back that I got I to gotta pay the piper. Exactly. Like I'm going to have to pay the piper for what I did. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's, it's the Pittsburgh Penguins. They're one of the most popular teams in the NHL with, of course. with, with the big people too. We won't, get, we won't get into that. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're protected. <laughs> That's what I call it. Yeah. And no one cares about us Islanders, but best, best fans and best team ever. Um, in my opinion. So, but you know, I'm biased. <laughs> so I come back and, uh, got I, me and line up my first shift line up. God, he's there, big boy, tough as nails, mm -hmm. the hand of God, big right hand. And I don't, he don't say anything to me. We don't look at each other. I say this, you guys love all this banter because other guys probably don't talk about it, but I say, Hey gods. I was like, uh, I was like, Hey Godsy, we got to get this out of the way. Don't we? He goes, yep. I said, <laughs> I said, all right. I'm like, square off. He's like, yep. And then nice. you watch that fight. Uh, I was, wor I was getting ready for him. Cause I know he's got a missile. So I cross grab him and end up putting him down in that fight. Mm -hmm. So I pay. I, like, who, and then everyone's like, now these new school people are like, well, why didn't he fight England? What? Oh yeah. But yeah. The toughest guy when the, one of the toughest guys in the league was Goddard. I went your toughest guy. I paid my God. penance. What are you talking about? God they didn't come tough. anywhere near me. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's like, so, uh, so it is what it is. What could they do after that? Like I, I was going to say during the, uh, during the, the brawl that, you know, that, that happened. I get, sorry. I get fired up about this because I still get death threats from Penguins fans. And I'm yeah, like, I believe it. <laughs> I believe I'm just like, I'll be like, I'll like be like, oh, good one, keyboard warrior. Like, and then I just block them. Like, <laughs> you've never been in a fight in your life and you're coming out of an ex professional athlete. Yeah. Like, yeah. If you said it to me in the street, I'd probably cave their skull in, honestly, real fast. Oh. I'm, I'm still sharp and still in shape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good luck to them. Hell yeah. When, when Haley's fighting the go when, when Haley's fighting Johnson during Love that. Love Haley, goal, yeah. He's a, he's a weapon. I remember watching him play. Yeah. And, you know, he can play. He can, he can play too, man. And he's he's a tough kid, and and he's scrapping the goalie. Yeah, and God comes great. off the bench. Oh, and thank you know, God! Thank God! God's he like I don't know him that well, but he was amazing. I, mean, I heard he's a great dude. He's doing yeah, a lot yeah. of great things with like those other guys, like um, Parker and um, Cote and all those guys, and Van Bush. They're helping a lot of people with the CBD and all that. But um. Cool. Great dude, but uh, thank God he didn't hit uh, Haley with that punch. Did you see that punch? Yes. Yeah, yeah. He was oh. trying to fire off, and, and it could have been bad. If he would have hit him with that punch, Haley would still be laying there. He'd be yeah, dead. Probably. He'd be dead. It was an absolute <laughs> missile. Like a, and you were and you were out. You, you were already kicked out, but you're staying in the doorway, and the door is Oh, out. yeah. So that's you're, another thing that people get misunderstood about. And they, I don't care if they believe me or not. But That's okay, but I – I was just yeah. curious what you so I know you, I know you probably know because of talking to Joe and other guys, but, um, so everyone thinks I'm like screaming at a down player, which obviously, you know, anybody with any heart knows that that's a gutless move. Right. Of course. So, but their trainer is like calling me a goon, like what the fuck are you like fucking yapping at me? So like, oh, it's almost funny? like, it's almost, yeah, he's just yapping at me, you know, call me a goon, like all that shit. And so, 
I'm like, if you look, I'm like, come over, you know, I'm like, who the fuck are you? Like, come over here. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. It's, it's almost like in the NHL, like coach, it's like unwritten Google coaches, trainers, like these guys don't yap at the players. Right. Once mm -hmm. in a while it happens, but you know, I, I, I can, I got to admit it didn't, it didn't look good. I mean, yeah, it's that's why I asked you. pretty easy to, to suspend, you know, a guy that had what, two goals and whatever yes. amount of games and you know pretty much was there for one reason to be the big brother and to hit and fight and be great totally a good teammate like you know they have their certain guys they go after and i'm not in the game and i'm whatever like uh yeah you know coaching or scouting so i don't really care like i'm doing just fine and yeah do you feel that the attitude of the pittsburgh penguins um being the top shit team led to that attitude to the trainer and to the announcer to say, go back to your cave. Oh, yeah. I think that's classic. I, I think oh, it's funny. That's pretty funny. <laughs> How bad would you fucking pinch that guy if you saw him? I mean, like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 